Hey book nerds, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing something a tiny bit different and I kind of wanted to just do like a discussion video of something that I've thought about quite a lot recently. Um, I've got a couple of these videos planned but I don't really know what I'm going to say in them so apologies if this is a little bit free-flowing. But essentially the topic I wanted to discuss today is whether or not thrillers need twists in them. And I've had this question posed to me before by um, a commenter and I've said that I don't think they do need twists and I stand by that to some extent but I kind of wanted to explore the issue in more depth because most of the thrillers that I write highly do indeed have twists in them and I think a lot of people read thrillers to be surprised so I just kind of thought I'd talk about this a little bit more. So basically my favourite thrillers pretty much almost always have twists in them and the reason for that is because I enjoy thrillers as kind of the modern equivalent of murder mysteries and I know murder mysteries still exist but I don't think they're quite the same as they used to be because um, people tend to write cosy mysteries which tend to be softer and more humorous I find that almost no examples of like the Agatha Christie type mystery exist now and I think that's because thrillers have evolved to replace them. So the kind of thrillers that I enjoy reading are psychological thrillers, domestic thrillers, um, that kind of thing where it's focused on people and something is going on in their lives and they're trying to work out what is going on in their lives. So there is some kind of mystery to solve and I think in that kind of thriller the twist or the reveal is pretty important and it doesn't necessarily have to be a twist in the traditional sense but it does have to be something that is going to make the story worthwhile and is going to have an impact on your reader because someone who's reading that type of thriller isn't going to be happy usually if they reach the end and they've worked everything out because then they're bored, they're not getting the surprise that they're reading that book for However, I do think that too much importance is put on the twist. So personally, I don't necessarily have to be surprised by the book. I just have to A, not figure it out too early and B, be satisfied by that ending as an ending to the story that I've been invested in. I prefer that to a book that surprises me, but in a completely ridiculous way or a way I don't like. So when the twist is just out, so outlandish that you could never see it coming and that's what the author's banking on because then you are surprised but you're surprised in a bad way um, twists where the story that comes before stops making sense because you weren't told certain aspects or you know just completely outlandish things happen so those kind of twists I think are kind of more common and I sort of blame Gone Girl for this and I know it's not really I mean, I'm sure before Gone Girl, there were popular th thriller books. But for me, Gone Girl is like the mainstream thriller book that got loads and loads of people reading thrillers. And Gone Girl <laughs> relies so heavily on its twist that without the twist, there isn't a story. And I think I'm not particularly a fan of Gone Girl, I will say. I think I rated it about three stars and I don't ever feel the need to reread it because the fact is that the story does rely on the twist. Um, so I think Gone Girl kind of set the template for people wanting books that will surprise them and that's kind of like, in my mind anyway, what started this desire to have a shocking twist above all else. And I got to thinking about police procedural thrillers, which I don't usually enjoy. I do enjoy some of them. Um, the MJ Ardledge books are brilliant. The D.I. Helen Grace, I think is her name, um, are some of my favourite thrillers. And, but they do have surprises in, which I find my main problem with police procedurals is that they're not much of a murder mystery, the kind of focus is, it's weird because the focus is on the police trying to solve the crime, but because you're focusing on the police, you don't usually find a lot of focus on the characters that the crime is happening to. 
beyond kind of sensationalist, you know, oh, they're in a serial killer trap or something like that. So with police procedurals, you can't have the same twist in them because either you can see who the murderer is and you know that from the start and that's not the point of the book or else the murderer is usually someone you don't know that well and so you don't get that emotional impact of the twist. So I think with police procedurals the twist is much much less important than in psychological and domestic thrillers because I don't think people read those specifically to be surprised in the same way um, or at least I don't and I don't know if that's why I enjoy police procedurals less because I've been trying to explore that lately and I think it is because the focus isn't necessarily on the people or the perpetrators of the crime beyond from a forensic police point of view and from a police point of view I'm not that interested in it I come from the psychology point of view yeah so I just kind of wanted to open this up to my audience because I know a lot of people who comment on my videos and who I watch and stuff they enjoy thrillers and I kind of want to know what other people make of this because no one I really know reads thrillers apart from my mum and she reads them in a very much um her tastes are quite similar to mine but she she's much harsher she will just dismiss a book if it doesn't have a good twist in it whereas I tend to put more focus on the characters and writing I think than she does and I'm not saying either approach is right or wrong I think you can obviously read whatever you want to read and if you only enjoy books that have twists in them then that's perfectly valid like that's a that's your right as a person to enjoy that but yeah I just I don't know I want to know what other people think about this because it is an interesting question and I do think thrillers focus a lot on twists particularly in recent years and I just wondered whether how important twists are to you so yeah that's kind of the whole video um not really my usual thing but I want to hear what people think about this, I want to hear any discussion points you have. If you have any examples of thrillers that you've loved that don't have any twists in, I was going to give some examples of my own, but like I said I went through the list and I realised that most of the ones I've rated highly do have at least one twist of some kind to them. Oh, one more thing I do want to add is as well, I think that a bad thriller can be saved by a really good twist. and. I never know how I feel about books like that because I don't feel that that judgement is right. I don't think that a mediocre thriller should be able to be saved by a really good twist but from my own personal reading tastes I know that I will still have a positive um, image of that book if it did manage to surprise me in a, what I perceive to be a clever way. So I'd like to throw that out there as well whether you think there are books that you've read that you only like because of the twists and if you think that's um don't want to say reasonable because I think any way to judge a book is reasonable but whether you feel comfortable with that within yourself I guess that you know that you rated that book highly because of the twist but yeah so that is everything thank you so much for watching this video I hope you liked it if you did please give me a thumbs up it helps me out massively um yeah I hope to see you next time.